you're a serious student. Next, keep a journal. Not only be a student, the good idea is you develop from the book. Keep a separate journal. Write all this stuff down. Don't trust your memory. If you are serious about becoming wealthy, powerful, sophisticated, influential, culture, unique, keep a journal. Don't trust your memory. If you listen to something valuable, write it down. When you come across something important, write it down. No, I used to take notes on pieces of paper, paper, envelopes, restaurant placements, etc., etc. And show it in a drawer. Best way, keep a journal. It makes up a valuable part of learning. My own journal now form a good portion of my library. Be a buyer of empty books. I find anything interesting I buy an empty book. Especially at my status in life. Not just committed to craft, committed to life, committed to skill. Coming to learning, to see what I can do with, with stuff and turn it into enterprise. Everything you want is available, especially in America. I'm asking it. Keep a journal. One of the three treasures to leave behind. Number one, your pictures. Take a lot of pictures. Do you ever look back two or three generations, just a handful of photographs? Would it be something if your was album after album, thousands of pictures to help the story? A picture is worth a thousand words. Don't be lazy in capturing the event. How does, long does it take to capture the event? A fraction of a section. How long does it take to miss... Help take a lot of pictures. Help take the store. Click, click. Got it. Keep. I go to Taiwan to lecture. Grand Hotel. Got a thousand students. Guess how many cameras? One thousand cameras. They all bring their cameras. They wouldn't miss the event to take pictures takes more time to take more pictures than it does to do the lectures click 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 save it thousand words each one don't miss the pictures when you're gone one of the things to leave behind the treasure in pictures as in well as words next your library the library that you gather that taught you, that instructed you, that helped you to defend your ideals, that helped you to develop a philosophy, that helped you to become wealthy and power, powerful and unique, the library that helped you to conquer some disease, the library that helped you to conquer poverty, the library that helped you to walk away from the ghetto, the books that instructed you, fed your mind, fed your soul. Lead your library behind. One of the greatest gifts to leave behind is your library. Stepping stones out of the darkness into the light. So leave your books behind. Your books will be more valuable than your coats. Your books. Your books. Your books. And third is your journals. The idea is that you pick them. The notes you pick at seminars like this. Wherever you found an occasion to gather something valuable so you can go back over it. Repetition is the mother of skill. Read it one more time. See if you can digest it one more time. Make it coach you one more time. Make it 
teach you one more time. It could inspire you once more, more time. Words are inspirational. The lyrics of a song and not just read it once. That's why we put our stuff on cassettes so you can go through it again and again. If you hear a blue, beautiful song that does something to you, don't hear it once. You say, oh, let you hear it again. Wouldn't you want to hear it and again and again and again? Let it instruct you. Let it feed you. Let it teach you. Third, take you on wings of emotional journeys. Wouldn't you want to do that again? The answer is yes. Here's what is yes. That's your journal. All the things that you took the methodos time together. One of the greatest proof to show that you're a serious student. Taking pictures, that's very easy. Buying a book at a bookstore, that's very easy. Here's one that's a little bit more challenging. Be student enough of your own life, your own future, your own destiny. Be student enough to take the time, take the notes, keep the journal. You'll be so glad you did. What a treasure to leave behind when you go. Your journals. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you learned something today. Don't be selfish. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. Thank you.